All right, today we're gonna be setting up a test tube setup for your new queen ant that you guys are gonna go out and catch, or if you have already. This is just so you can have raise her right and have her ready to lay her eggs. You're gonna have to put her in a test tube setup to have her ready. And then you're gonna just leave her there. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So now I'm gonna show you how to set up the test tube. So first you're gonna need a test tube. Um, these are really easy to get. They come with a lot of kits. If you buy like ant kits, I don't know. You can get a lot of test tubes or you can just buy them off the internet, Amazon, wherever. Um, yeah, you can just get these. And if you can't find any of these nowhere and especially with what's going on right now in the world, you can um, use what's floral picks, I believe they are. Floral picks or water picks or something like that, which are just like this, except they're meant for plants. And you're gonna need two cotton balls some tweezers or something sterile to push uh, your cotton balls down into here and water. I don't have a water bottle, but I do have some clean water. I like to use purified water, clean purified water because it's better for the ants. I feel like I keep, feel like more healthier. So I have as much uh, chlorines or whatever's in this bacteria or whatever is in this water from the tap. This is cleaner. I know that for sure. Cause it came, it's purified for us. It should be good for them. First, you're gonna take your test tube and you're gonna fill it with water. You're gonna fill it like three fourths though. You're gonna fill it most of the way. So let's do that right now. About right there. About, I don't know, let's say three fourths or whatever. Then next you're gonna take your cotton ball. You're gonna just stick it and just like so, but you need something clean and sterile to push down. And we're gonna push it fast so there's no air bubbles, just like so. Just make sure that's moist, so push it deep enough so it's moist. And yeah, that's perfect, just like this so far. As you can see. Okay, next what you would do is you would move your queen ant into the test tube. So you would put her in there. When she's in here, you're gonna put this cotton on top, just like so. I ripped my cotton in half because it's a little too big. I already used this piece, just like so. Just gonna stuff it in there, just like so. And there is your test tube set up, just like that. Ready to go for your new queens. And, I mean, I wouldn't recommend to make multiple these, multiple of these advanced with the water. I'd recommend add it in, keep the water in here for at least like a week, no more probably, because the water will get stagnant and it can start growing mold here because it's a moist environment. So yeah, I'd make a new one. Not that hard to make. They're really simple. But yeah, this is how you make them. And you're just gonna move your queen into there, and she'll be fine. Here, this is uh, one I've already pre-made with the queen inside, so I'm gonna show you guys right now. So here's one I have right now with the queen inside already, as you can see. And yeah. But yep, pretty much that's it, that's it. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. There's the test tube set up. This just goes in here, pull it out, and you put her inside, and you put it back. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys have good luck catching your queen ants this uh, nutshell season. And yeah, see it's nice and moist inside. It doesn't look moist, but trust me, it's moist inside. But yeah, thank you so much. Hope everybody enjoyed the video and uh, leave a like and subscribe if you liked. And check out my uh, website. I have a website which I just post a whole bunch of informational stuff on for you guys. So if you're new, you guys wanna learn some stuff or if you need to know something about your ants, Go check it out. It's the first link. And yeah, thank you. Thank you for everything you guys do. And bye-bye.